Um, so good morning everyone. Um, I'm glad to see you all here this morning. Hi. Uh, so um, considering the summit and, and all the all the arrangements uh, with the traffic, then it's it's uh, quite a number of people who have still made it here. Um, and thank you, thank you for coming. Um, uh, today's uh, debate is about uh, taxation in the digital economy. So uh, and this is especially interesting topic because uh, this comes up very often when we talk about digital economy, especially uh, sharing economy. That uh, you know these people don't pay taxes, and this is the most uh, uh, commonly used argument against all the digital things that uh, that you know they don't pay taxes. It's a great great thing. But, uh, but on the other side, or actually look at it uh, this way, that uh, digital everything leaves a mark, so it should be rather easy to tax them. But, but we will uh, look into this um, during this debate. So thank you for the speakers uh, for agreeing to come and, and take part in this debate. Um, I will introduce them in a moment. Mm, um, basically, we have three, three questions I think we have to... Um, look into when we talk about taxation in the digital economy. First, the big de debate that we have had uh, already uh, and, and is still ongoing is about uh, uh, where the value is created. So, so how uh, or where uh, the, the activity should be um, taxed uh, in the digital economy. So um, this has led to many scandals related to big companies that we all know. Uh, that uh, they are <coughs> accused of not paying their fair amount of taxes. Uh, second point uh, um, that uh, I would like us to discuss is the, is the complexity of the VAT regime. Uh, that is especially um, a question for, for the small and medium-sized companies because in the digital area, uh, when they want to sell cross borders, what they um, uh, what they see, the problems with the value added tax and, and how, to, how to calculate which, uh, which uh, authorities to pay it to and all the things you have to actually do, um, all the complexities and bureaucracy you have to do in different member states to be a VAT, um, uh, to, to have the right to, to charge the VAT and pay the VAT. Uh, so, so um, again, I see that the digital environment actually creates a lot of um, uh, possibilities to, to, you know, provide new platforms to do this uh, in a way that it would be so much easier for the small and medium-sized companies. And the third point is, is the complexity of the VAT uh, regime. Uh, the uh, the uh, it's the uh, taxation of the sharing economy, what I already pointed out. So, so the question is how to collect taxes from the sharing economy, uh, uh, all, the, all, the, uh, all the arguments that I already pointed out, that uh, they don't pay taxes, the drivers don't pay taxes, um, the, uh, the uh, apartment owners don't pay taxes, so, so how to uh, tackle this uh, challenge. Um, we are uh, lucky today to have uh, three uh, speakers who can give a very different view uh, or perspective on, on these questions. Uh, first, we have an uh, entrepreneur and a founder of different uh, startups, Lars Andersen, uh, founder of, uh, of My Name Tax. Um, then we have a taxation expert from a bigger company, Jeronimo Bayan, head of taxes for Europe Operation Telefonica. And um, then we have also a view from, from the <coughs> authority side, so representative of the uh, Estonian tax board Egon uh, Verma. Uh, so thank you uh, all for coming. Uh, thank you colleagues uh, who have uh, also shown up uh, this morning debate and so without further ado uh, I would give the floor to Lars Andersen and then after all the speakers we will have questions and the debate. Thank you.